obviously just really excited, uh, not only to be going to the, the big dance, so to speak, for the second year running, but um, obviously the opportunity to get to host and play at home in front of our home fans is uh, is just an exciting prospect. I think the, the girls are ready. I've obviously uh, been working so hard all season for this opportunity, and uh, we'll be ready come Friday night to put on a show. Coach Sean, uh, looking into Lamar and their whole season, they've only conceded nine goals all year, and goal scoring as of recent has been a little bit of a struggle for the team. Do you think, um, is there anything you're planning to do tactically to try to generate more goals on the side? Yeah, you know, we've been obviously scouting Lamar all week. They're a great team. Um, they've had a ton of success this year. I think uh, Nathan, their new head coach, has done a fantastic job. Um, I don't think they've played the toughest schedule this year, so I think we might be the first Power 5 team on their, on their schedule. Um, but yeah, you're right. We haven't scored many goals in recent weeks um, outside of the 4-1 victory against Ole Miss on senior night. Um, we've struggled to, to generate offense in the last few weeks. Um, so yeah, we, we've talked a lot about you know just playing with a huge amount of width and trying to stretch their back line, um, giving players like Taylor Dobler's and Angelina Thorson lots of space to run into in wide channels. Um, but you know, I, I think this team has shown you know, over the course of the three years that I've been here, that any time we're up against it, we've got the opportunity to to really push through. And um, we've been training exceptionally well since we got back from Pensacola. I think this this week, uh, this little bit of a week off, um, has given us time to sort of reflect on some things that we needed to, to make adjustments in. And I think the team's in a in a really good place. And and I expect us to have goals in us come come tomorrow night. Yeah, you know, Ramey and Meyer obviously have, have um, you know, had a huge amount of experience in their, their four years playing here and, and not having them is a loss for us. But I think we've shown all season long that we have a really deep team. We've been playing players like Jocelyn Oliveri and, uh, and Olivia Wilkes in recent weeks. Um, and I expect those two to step into the, the start lineup in the back line and, uh, and do great things for us. So. I think that's one of the beauties of having a deep team and, and having the willingness and the confidence in lots of players and, and rotating them, that if you are in a situation where you lose players either to injury or to suspension, that it's a seamless transition for those players to move into the lineup. So um, I just you know want to focus on the players that we have available and, and we feel really confident in the team that we'll be putting out that we can get a result. Your, team's, your team has been pretty battle tested throughout the season. How is that going to pay off in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, you know, we've played uh, an unbelievably strong schedule this year um, and done, I think, incredibly well. We've, we've only lost three games this year, and I think all three of those losses have come against very good opponents. Um, look, I, I think every team that you play in the NCAA tournament is going to test you in different ways, and I think Lamar have some special players, players that can score goals. Um, but, you know, I, I think it's about who shows up on the day and, and in that 90 minutes, who's going to put their best foot forward and, and find ways to win. And I think we've got a ton of experience in this team. Um, many players that have played in the NCAA tournament previously, and I, I expect that experience to shine through for us tomorrow night. And a few of your players on campus encouraging students to come out tomorrow. How much more would it mean to them? How much more would it mean to them to have that support? Yeah, I think the team right now is currently touring the, the sorority and fraternity houses. We'll be at Baton Rouge Soccer Club tonight. Um, you know, I, I think the team's putting in a huge push at the men's basketball game last night. We want to break the attendance record. Um, I think 3,500 is, is our target for tomorrow night. Last year when we opened SEC play against Mississippi State, we had a little over 3,000 fans, and it was just an unbelievable atmosphere. So to have the opportunity to host tomorrow night and, and just have a, a, a huge, huge fan base behind us. You know, um, Kim Mulkey sending the band to us tomorrow night. So uh, we'll have the band in attendance and uh, we're just really excited to, to host. And I know that the Baton Rouge soccer community is gonna come out and, and, and the student section and, and everybody's just gonna come out full force and support us. She will, uh, which is obviously a, 
you know, a, a great step for us. Um, I wouldn't say she's 100%, but, you know, Ida is a player that can unlock the opponent's defense. She can score goals. Um, I think since her injury, it's been a big loss for us in our attacking production. So to have her back tomorrow will be a, a huge... Uh, a huge moment for us. Um, she's shown her quality all season long. So, um, like I said, she, uh, she had, I think this is the first time she's ever been injured in her career. Um, but she's excited. She, uh, she'll be ready.